everybody welcome back to my channel just going to give you a quick update and um, probably by the time I, you see this video 4th of July be open over, over anyway but I finished the sides decided to paint them gold and all the bling and this is going to be hung up for 4th of July so that's that. Okay, so I'm going to do another illusion painting, which consists of a dirty flip cup. I have already um, covered my canvas with white. And for this one, I have pink, a light blue, a deep velvet, going to give these a quick stir because I added GAC 100 which is a primer and extender and that's a penny in the background I think she just wants to be a superstar maybe she should have her own video um, YouTube channel and then I've got some blue now because I'm going to do an illusion on this one I really want the dark to be in the middle because I want it to look like you know it's going inwards so that means I have to start with the dark first so let's do let's do the purple first because that really is the darkest so purple and then hi baby come to join me and then I can't do all the darks on top of each other. And then blue, which sinks straight to the bottom. Let's take that out. When you pour it to the side, it tends not to sink. And none of these colors have silicone in them. And then I'm gonna do the pretty in pink. Can see in there. I am also going to put in some white. This has gone kind of yucky because this was left over from something I did yesterday. But that's okay, just a little bit. And what haven't I put in? Oh, the dark blue. dark blue and some more of the light blue you can see that that's that finished I some for some reason get very satisfied when I empty a pot of paint okay that one's finished too and maybe a little bit more white and then a little bit more purple okay that should do it and off camera i'm going to do another one but the canvas is really horrible so I don't want to waste time. I'll do that as a test. But this one's going to be great. And I hope you can see all the little effects going on in the cup there. Flip. Flip. Okay. Leave that a few seconds. And... Yeah, my next one that I'm going to do, I've got all these kind of leftover paints. I'm going to do this one really bright. I'm going to do orange and lime green and yellow and bronze. But let's see what this one does. Move those out of the way. Okay. Ooh. Pretty. Pretty. 
paint in the corner it always helps with the runoff. Look at those cells. Wow. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like the color combo. I'm not gonna torch it yet. We're gonna move this around slowly. Um, oh, I love this color combination. Blue is, I love blue, turquoise especially. And I find it sometimes hard to break out of my comfort zone on different colors. And a lot of the time I find purple quite disappointing because it, it can be very muddy if you mix it with the wrong colors. But this is really, oh, baby sneezing in the background. Bless you, baby. Oh, this is gonna look great. There's a 3D. So these paints, well, there's no flow troll in them. Oh, I don't like that zigzag. I'll have to tilt it back to get rid of the zigzag. I just don't like zigzags. All right, touch the sides. Um, I have a little bit in the middle. I'm just going to put that upside down in the cup because I kind of want it to be dark in the middle. See what happens. Turn it around. All right, all the sides are covered. I'm going to take off, actually, let me lift this up first. Well, well, not really. A lot happened there. Oh well, never mind. I'm going to torch. I'm going to torch it. And like if I were doing this as a pour, I wouldn't like I hate zigzags in, in pours. And I see people they they are impatient, they wanted to go to the ed edge, but this isn't about the cells. This is purely a background for what's going to come next once this is dry. So ooh, look at those. Wow. There's a lot of lace. Oh my goodness. I'm going to bring you down in a sec for the lacing. That's incredible. Actually, I'm going to try and hold you while I do this. So let me turn you off so you don't get dizzy. See that lacing beginning to happen? Look at that. That is so cool. Let's see if this does any. See, I want it to be kind of galactical. Oh, look at that. Love it. All right, so once that's dry, I will bring you back. So I'm gonna bring you down to look at the cells now. Look at that. That is very cool, as you Americans say, or probably the Canadians say it too. It's jolly good, very happy with that. Right, when that's dry, I will come back and we will do the 3D effect. Okay, there you have both dried. I'm only going to demonstrate on this one. And I referenced me, art by me, M-I-I, in my last video. I put a link to her channel. And I'm gonna do, this is 
her, well, I don't know if it's her technique, but that's where I saw it. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to, first of all, do my outline in this silver paint pen, um, water-based paint pen. So, I'll use my, make sure that's, I just think it gives it a nice glow. I just got to mark my corners because I have drawn this out in pencil, but I can barely see it. And the colors I'm going to be using are a gray that I've mixed and black. And I've got all my little smudging tools on hand. I've got these makeup sponges okay right let's get to it i'm going to use a very small brush and i am going to rinse it off first although it doesn't matter because the black and the gray are really going to be kind of blended together anyway so i'm going to start oh there's a bit there's a bit. Come off. Yes, this is just rubbing alcohol. That's good. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with some gray. So I'm going to use a very, very thin brush. I am going to go inside my silver lines. I'll be smudging with my fingers. You don't have to watch all of this. I will be fast forwarding. I've got some alcohol on hand, which will thin it down a little bit. And the corners obviously have more. Once I've done this, there she goes again. Um, I will then be going around all three circles with the black, which will add that, um, that real depth. So I'm gonna fast forward through this bit and come back when it's finished. for earlier so I don't know which way to put it I love this one this one however not so much it's okay I think I'm gonna go around this again with some more black but it was fun sometimes I get a little frustrated with acrylic pores and want to kind of feel that they need something else so this was this was a fun project to do anyway thanks for watching and see you in my next video